What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video. We're finally going to be installing the new spoiler on the car. As you saw in the last video, I kind of just test fitted it up onto the car, saw how it looked, and then I actually went and dropped it off to paint the next day. So now, uh, we're going to have to take this off, and this is how the spoiler came out. So I got it color matched to the car. Um, there's some random shop right by the house, and they overall did a good job. There is a few kind of small you can say imperfections in the paint, but for the price I paid, I can't really complain too much. But with that, I got these few things. So this is molding to go around the edges of the car to make it waterproof so no water leaks in to the bottom of the spoiler. I got this epoxy. Um, I'm not really sure, or JB Weld, but I'm not really sure if I'm gonna use it yet. My idea was to a JB Weld a screw or a bolt to the bottom of the spoiler, use the stock mounting holes, and then hopefully tighten it down, but don't know if it's gonna work. So in case, I just got this LPD, LPDD, I'm not even sure the brand name, um, double-sided tape, which I'm gonna use to tape around the entire edge of the spoiler and get it put on. First, I need to go ahead and take off the stock spoiler. You guys already saw me do that in the last video, so I'm not gonna really bore you guys too much with that process, but let's get to taking this off, cleaning it, and then putting the new one on. So these are the stock mounting screws that they use or the bolts and I'm thinking if since they are flat at the top if I epoxied or JB welded them to the top of or to the bottom side of the spoiler would I still be able to utilize the stock mounting holes? I'm really not sure if I want to do that just yet but I am going to test fit it on see how it looks and then go from there. I still haven't decided yet really. So I got to test fit it up and this is how it's looking so far. It looks really good actually so as i mentioned before it's not as aggressive but um overall fitment is pretty solid i still need it's definitely going to need the molding uh to protect it from water so i'm going to put the molding all around here not sure if i'm going to put it on the bottom side because i don't think water will ever get trapped but uh we'll see so now we got this off i'm going to go ahead and start throwing this molding all around the trim um, so my guess is that I should start from the back side right here. My only big concern with this is that with the molding all around to keep it watertight, I don't know whether or not the camera piece is going to fit or if the tape is going to be enough to hold this on, but we will see. So as you can see, I got the molding all around the wing. Just left this part open because uh, the camera face is gonna sit right here, the camera bezel, but overall, it's pretty solid. So now, I'm gonna go ahead, clean this off, and open this trunk, get the camera bezel out, and then hopefully we can put it all back in, make it look stock. It's the next day now, and I really didn't film me actually putting the spoiler on. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick overlook of how it looks. It looks really good. One thing I did want to add to the car was uh, these rain guards. Um, I got these off Amazon, I believe. So I'm gonna quickly go ahead and install these on the car. It should change up the look a little bit of the car, so I'm gonna quickly go ahead and add that, and then, we got a little car meet that we're going to today, so we're gonna head out. First, I'm gonna go ahead and clean it with this alcohol wipe. Make sure it's all clean so that 3M tape on the, the rain guards have something to stick on or and stick on properly. But once I do that, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting them on.
Now, you're probably wondering why I have tape all around the car and it wasn't there before. That's just because it's really hot out and I know the sun's gonna loosen up the tape just a little bit. So while it is hot, I wanted the, the tape to seat properly on the car, make sure it doesn't move around too much. And after today, I think we should be good. So I got one side done and it's a pretty subtle change, it's not too big of a change but overall it looks good. I know it's going to help a lot. I like driving in the rain with the windows down which is weird but um, I just feel like the breeze is always nice, the cool air so this is actually going to be very beneficial to me. Downside it is covering a little bit of the Instagram sticker. Uh, you can't see the Instagram logo so I think I'm going to get a new one and just put it right here um, but we'll see how it goes. Let me go ahead and do the other side as well and finish this out. Pretty easy install, literally took five minutes. This stuff right here is actually pretty sharp. Cut my hand a little bit right there, but looks good. I like how it's not protruding too much when you look at it from this angle. It's pretty sleek and downward facing. So yeah, like I said, has a nice little touch to the car, which I'm gonna like at least. Let me clean up all this mess that I made and I need to head out. Got all these Amazon boxes, all my car parts coming in. There we go. Every video ends with me sweating because it's always hot as hell when I start working and I always just start sweating profusely. But if you like the video and the build, subscribe down below. You're gonna be missing out if you don't. And that's a wrap for this video. Peace.